This strawberry and chocolate galette is perfect with a scoop of ice cream and a dollop of cream. Now for the crust, we're going to place one and a quarter cups of flour in the food processor. To that, we'll add a quarter teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of sugar, and we're just going to pulse this to make sure that all the ingredients are equally distributed. Now add half a cup or one steak of cold butter that's been cut into cubes. Pulse this until we get fine crumb-like texture. It should look something like this. The butter may actually be quite visible, which is perfect. That means you haven't overmixed it. Add one egg. And we're just going to mix this until all the mixture comes together. While we have this going, we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of ice cold water. Slowly dribble your water in at the same time. The dough will barely come together. You don't want to overmix this or add too much water. it looks something like this that means we're done so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it out onto a lightly floured surface as you can see it's already come together quite well you don't want to handle this mixture with any kind of rough hands or you don't want to knead it you just want to roll it out you want to roll it out until it's nice and thin, around 10 to 12 inches. I'm just going to roll it out into a circle already so that we don't have to do it after chilling. If you look quite closely, you can see these little speckles of butter. Um, and that means that you've actually made a really great crust. You haven't overmixed it and it actually looks really good. That means this crust is going to be flaky and buttery. It's perfect. You won't end up with a rough or a tough pastry. You'll end up with something really delicious. At this point, you're probably thinking, oh my God, why is it not 100% circular? Well, that's the whole point of a galette is the fact that it's supposed to be rustic and it's not supposed to be 100% circular. So you're just going to roll the pastry onto the rolling pin, which will make it easier later to unroll it onto the pan. I'm just gonna add a little bit of flour. If you feel like it might be sticking, just add a little flour and roll it onto itself. Okay, now I've just rolled it back out onto a lined baking tray. We're just going to chill this dough for about an hour to help it set, and then we'll get on with the mixture. For the galette mixture, you want to place two and a half cups of strawberries that have been hulled and halved in a bowl. To that, we're going to add three tablespoons of sugar and half a teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to mix this in really well and allow the fruit to macerate for around 10 to 15 minutes. I love how easy and simple this recipe is. It's perfect for the summer and the spring and definitely it's that easy that you should have no excuse not to try it at least once. Set that aside and come back after 15 minutes. After about 15 minutes, you'll be able to see that there's a lot of juices in this bowl. We're just going to drain them off. Once we've drained out all of the water, we're going to sprinkle over two teaspoons of corn flour. Then we're just going to mix it in once more. This will help give us a slightly gelatinous texture. 
and it will thicken the berries once we bake them. Now we're going to add half a cup of chocolate chips and mix it in again. And that's your mixture ready for baking. We're just going to pop this into the fridge until we're ready to bake. Okay, we are ready to make this galette. Now to assemble this, you want to pour the strawberry mixture into the middle. Be careful not to go too far out. Make sure that you leave about a couple inches of a border because we're going to roll it back onto itself. So if you guys are new to the channel, then welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please take the time to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We love to hear from you, so if you have any feedback, do let us know in the comments down below. Now at this point, we're just going to spread out the mixture until we reach the border, which again, like I said, should be a couple of inches from the sides. This will make folding it over so much easier. And what I love about a galette is that it's rustic, so it doesn't have to be a per perfect circle or a perfect oval. Do what you like, and this is one of those desserts that is really forgiving. So add any kind of berries, add white chocolate chips and raspberries. That sounds like an amazing dish. Now, we're just going to fold over the pastry, and I'm just going to show you how to do that. Because we've chilled the dough, it's easier to actually fold it over as well, and it won't break. So as you can see, I'm just folding it over like this. It's so easy to make. It's perfect for like even beginning uh, beginner bakers, those who've never tried anything with fresh fruit. This dish works really well. And you can always experiment on the flavours. Don't like berries? Go for apple. Try whatever you like. These flavours are so good and they all work so well together. You want to make sure that you can at least see the middle part of the pastry. Just like this. And we're all ready to bake. So the only thing left to do now is to brush it over with some egg yolk. This part is probably the most labor intensive part. It's just brushing it over with egg yolk. It's actually a very simple recipe and the kids love it. It's a great way to present fresh fruit and they'll actually end up eating it. I mean, we serve ours with ice cream, double cream. You can serve it with custard, but especially in the summer months, try for something cold like ice cream. Now we're just going to sprinkle over some coarse sugar. Just like this. Makes it look really nice. And adds a little bit of a crunch. Now if you don't want to bake this at this exact moment, it's fine. You can just cover it and put it in the fridge until you're ready to bake it. You can even freeze this for later. Or you can just place it in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for around 20 to 25 minutes until the sides of the pastry are golden brown and crunchy and crispy. Serve with vanilla ice cream and double cream. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Show your support by sending us a super thanks. Bye.